Okay, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to add, multiply polynomials. Very simple, actually. And we're also going to be learning how to use special patterns to shortcut our multiplication and to do it faster. So when we add and subtract as well polynomials, uh, because remember, uh, subtraction is adding the opposite, um, Basically, the idea is to add and subtract all the like terms. So let's look at a couple quick examples. Um, in this case here, we have one polynomial added to another polynomial. We highlight all the like terms. We add them together one by one. And note the way that I underline them as I go along just to make sure I'm using up all the terms. And when I'm all done, I've used them all up. So I go to my x term, and I go to my constant term, I add up the negative 3 and the 4, and I'm done. Now let's look at a subtraction case, and let me comment one thing. Just because you see parentheses here does not mean we multiply. In fact, we have this uh, minus sign right here which says we're taking this polynomial and we're um, <coughs> subtracting this polynomial from it. So this is not multiplication. Actually, on a previous test we did, um, there's a lot of people who saw this negative sign with parentheses and just started multiplying terms. This is a subtraction sign in this context here. So what we do first um, is I'm going to turn the subtraction into addition. Remember, subtraction is adding the opposite. So I'm going to turn this into an uh, addition, and then I'm going to flip the sign of every single term in the second polynomial. This is basically like distributing the negative term to all, or the negative to all the terms, distributing a minus 1 multiplied to each of the terms. So same idea. We take each term one by one. In this case, I'm starting from the left, working across. I'm looking for my x squared terms. Now I'm looking for my xy terms, then my y squared terms, followed by my constant terms. And when I'm done, I notice that I've used every single term by this kind of notation method. Any way you want to do it, whether you box it or put lines, this is a way that I do it in a, in a way that allows me to double check my work later on. So adding and subtracting polynomials, very simple. Let's move on to multiplying polynomials. The key concept here, we multiply every term by every term of the polynomial. So I have two polynomials that I'm multiplying together here. So what I mean by multiplying every term by every term, I'm taking x as my first term, multiplying it against every term there. Then I'm taking my next term, which is 3, and I'm multiplying that uh, to create three more terms. Then I add up my two polynomials, the, the one in blue and the one in red. I add them up by adding all the like terms and I am done. Okay, let's look at another one, slightly more complicated. I have three terms in one polynomial, three terms in the next. Same exact concept. I take the first term, the x squared term, and multiply it across every term of the other polynomial. And in this case, I'm going to just show a different way of organizing my work. When I multiply the next term, the 3x term, against this polynomial, I'm going to organize the like terms directly underneath. So I have my 3x times x, or, or negative 3x times negative x. I'm going to line that right up. Oh, sorry, negative 3x times 4x squared, I'm lining that up right underneath my x cubed terms. This then kind of allows me to do the final addition very easily. And then I take my third term and multiply it against all the terms. Now I have nine terms to add up. I've already grouped them in a very convenient way, so I can just add straight down. I take these, add down, take these, add down, take these, add down and I get my final sum. 
Again, this is just an organizational method. It can be done this way. It can be done this way. This way kind of makes it convenient because I'm sorting it ahead of times in terms of like terms. So that's multiplication. Addition and multiplication of polynomials is a fairly simple concept. Now we're going to look at some shortcuts just to make the work faster. We can always multiply this out, but if we learn this pattern, we can do the work faster. This is the difference of perfect squares. We factored it in the uh, right to left direction. We can also remember going from the left to the right. Remember when we had um, conjugates that we multiplied? We actually created a conjugate version, and then we used this difference of perfect squares concept. So we've already seen this pattern. We've already seen this pattern as well. Perfect square uh, binomials is a special pattern that we can recognize as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Um, and this other one is likewise, and I need to fix this mistake here. Make sure your notes have this. Plus b squared here. And you can always, again, expand this out and you'll get the same exact thing. And then, warning, uh, make sure you do not just simply say a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. These are not the same. There's this extra term in here that makes it different. And if you multiply it all out by the previous method, you'll see that to be true. So you've actually seen these two special patterns, and this is the third special pattern that is useful to learn if, if you don't memorize it. It's, it's okay, but it does help you do the work faster. So these are cubed binomials, and expands out to these following uh, terms here. Now how can we apply these? Um, here's some examples, and the key thing is to recognize that these match up, that this matches this uh, form. Um, basically we have an a minus b and an a plus b form that we can then convert to a squared minus b squared using our shortcut. So we can then just pack this in. We have a, which is 3x. We have b, which is 4y, and we put it into a squared minus b squared. And then we could simplify this. We have another pattern here. This is our uh, perfect square binomial case. And we recognize this to be a minus b squared which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And here, I want to make sure we recognize that a is 6w and b is 3t. So now when we expand this out or, or substitute things in, 6w is a squared, and here we have 2 times 6w times 3t. A common mistake might be to put negative 3t right in here. But in this case, b is 3t, so that's what we put in the, in the substitution of b here. And then we have uh, b squared, 3t squared. And then I multiply these all out and I get this final answer. Make sure your notes has a minus sign here. I think the notes might be incorrect. Lastly, the final case here, we have a cubed binomial. In this case here, we recognize this to be a cube, so this can be expanded out. We take our cubed a term, a cubed, plus 3a squared b, plus 3ab squared, plus b to the third power, and then we do a simplification step. So that's using special patterns as a way of shortcutting the multiplication work. If you forget any of these, you can always back up and multiply polynomials here.
So that's basically the lesson. Here are some problems you can try out on your own right now to keep it fresh. Or you can, um, we'll go over these in class tomorrow, so you can also do these together tomorrow in class.